Hello everyone, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Kingsbird Designs. If you're just joining me for the first time, please ensure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new video. Alright, in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to design something like this using CorelDRAW. And then someone asked me, actually gave me this picture to, and asked me how is he going to come up with this particular design so in this tutorial we show you how to come up with something like this with all these color gradients in correct draw without waste of time this is just little trick you can you just apply to your design and you get this particular design so without waste of time I'm going to be going straight into the tutorial First thing I'll be needing is to pick my rector eclipse tool. I'm going to pick my eclipse tool. So I'm going to make an a perfect circle. Ensure it's at the center. Then I'm going to now pick a polygon tool. In this polygon tool, I'm going to create a polygon. But this time around, I'm going to be creating a triangle. It's going to be a triangle. So now I'll be increasing it a little. I'll be increasing my zoom so that you see what I'm doing. Then from one end of the zoom that's from one end of this triangle i'm going to click on it hold shift key then try to reduce it a little so i'm going to try to reduce it a little too so once i reduce it a little i'm going to before releasing my left click i'm going to right click so as to enable me to so as to duplicate it into two so now I have two copies of this now. So I'll click on the smaller one first, then click on this bigger one. Then after doing that, I'm going to trim this particular object. So once I do that, I'll now click on the inner one and delete it. On this one then, I'm going to give it a color. I might choose any color for it. Now I'm going to, on the outline, I'm going to remove the outline. So now I'll now use this as a my this is i will rotate it then i'm going to bring it somewhere here so when i bring it here i'll ensure i make it in such a way that this side is long is shorter than this edge here you can see from what i'm having here this side is a bit short compared to this side if i should measure it now you will see that this side is one side is longer than the other i'll still try to make it much more longer I just adjust it a little so i have something like this so now with this now i'm going to use this as my frame into creating this so now i'm going to now you can see i will adjust it a little bit outside i think something like this should be okay okay now once i've gotten this what i'm going to do now is to look at what happens here on this particular rectangle i mean eclipse you can see that this is the center if you are confused of where is the center you can just drag your line here and come to this place and drop it here ensure it's at the center you leave it it's going to give you a mark in there and then click on it again and drag your line from this side again to also mark the center of this so now you can see that's the center point so now you can do the same from this one now i'll click on it on this dot this center mark on the center this place that is like Seiko just click on it and drag it to where you have the center of this Seiko so now what I'm going to do is to use this point as a point of reference to rotate this particular object around this Seiko so to do that I'm going to, to press alternate key on my keyboard and F8 so I'll do alternate F8 once I do alternate of F8 it's going to bring out my transform menu so once it brings out my transform menu you can see I let me use I can use something like let me say five degrees then ensure on my copies I make it if you are using x9 with quite draw 2019 with me you can see you, you see this place copies you insert one copy here but if you are using something lesser than this you might be seeing something like apply to duplicate on this one now I'm using angle 5 so i'm going to rotate this according to you can see when i click apply it's duplicating it but now 
is trying to take that circle form i remember i used this place as my point of reference that's what it's using it's using that particular point as my point of reference into creating that particular shape for me so now you can see i have it up to this extent so this is what we are actually having in this side here now so now what i'm going to do now on the circle itself the circle itself i will try my best let me see i'm going to so as to, i want to bring out the circle i drew the first circle i drew inside so what i'm going to do i'm going to highlight some part of this particular shape i'm going to highlight them and send down send them backwards so that i'll be able to click on the circle itself so now on this circle now i can now let me give it a feel so i can identify it very well so now on this one i can take it out then on this one itself the main object itself let me close that this so that you see it on this main object itself i can select all of them and wedge them together by the time i wedge them together they become one object so now i can now use this click on it and do c and e so that it goes to the center of this particular shape now i'm going to zoom this thing out i want to try and see how to make i will reduce this a little okay i think i will just i want to try and see how to get the shape this particular where the circle is working from i want to try and see how to get that particular shape this shape so that it will look as if it's from that center that's where the curve is breaking from so i'm going to think this is okay or let me increase a little okay so i think this is okay so now after doing this now what i'm going to do i'm clicking out the line so i'm going to now click on the circle the smaller circle itself then click on the object i've drawn then i will now do trim once i trim it you can see that those other lines inside and no more inside so now i'm going to now give this one maybe any color i, want, I wish to give it so now now let me apply let me click on this ones and do away with them i don't need them anymore so the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to apply let me double click on this place to create a rectangle yeah then i'll give it a black color so now you can see how the work is actually coming out you can see how the work is now so now from here now i'll now click on this side on the main then click on my interactive field tool i will now drag it from here towards this side try and bring it inside a little now i'm going to make some notes here i'll mark some points here so now i'll now start giving it colors different colors to my taste how i want so you can start applying the, your colors let me see this is you just apply then let me see like this and let me say this one here i'm going to give it let me see and pick a different color let me see this color so now you cannot see how i was able to do this now if i should bring this let me drag this out a little and reduce it you can see how it looks like so you could add from this now you could use this to do any kind of design for you let me let me get my text let me see i want to write in let me see something smart or let me make use of king's pet king's pet designs let me see designs so now i'm going to bring it here and on the text I'm going to make it the text the font for the text I'm going to make it something um, let me see geometric yeah I'm going to make kids go to the center then ensure it's at the center of the shape now I'm going to now make this a darker feel of this of black then increase it a little break it apart let me say the king spirit, I will reduce it a little. I want it to be something. Oh. Oh. 
the cast will let the designs go a little bit smaller. Let me see, this is let me see, this is 30, and this, let's say I use this as 24, 24, okay, designs, then take it to the center, group them apart, okay, now on this now I can, now, let me say I'm picking a line from here. We just pick a line. Just get something like this. You could try so many concepts yourself. I just wanted to show you how to do. So you could see from this particular you can see i've been able to achieve this particular design here you could let me say from this now you could try some other kind of funny designs on it let me say for example i draw something like this and ensure it is here i duplicate it then click on it let me rotate it a little let it look as if it's taking some screw now duplicate it again I'm going to increase it to fit. You can see it already took my rotating. I'm going to duplicate it. So you could try so many you can kind of effects. You can see how it looks as if this is a form of 3D, as if they are coming up from. So you can actually try some rare kind of design with. I guess you might have learned some new trick or some new kind of design from this particular tutorial if you're still watching this video and you have not yet considered subscribing to my channel please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new videos if you have any difficulty you can actually drop in the comment box below or you have any question or any video idea you want me to work on you can drop in the comment box below i'll try my best to see how to tackle or give you an answer all right this is where i'm going to stop for today's tutorial ensure you watch my other videos so that you learn some other new things you can actually work do with core draw until next time bye for now